What's going on guys? Welcome to another tutorial in Adobe Photoshop CC. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys some color correcting techniques. Now, as you see here, this is a photograph of London. That's the world famous Big Ben, and you see a red double-decker bus. Now, traditionally, these are red, but if you notice in the picture, the person who took the picture and then edited it left the bus red, obviously because it's so recognizable, but in this situation, what I wanna do is change the color of the bus, and not only that, show you guys some other tricks that you can use when editing a photograph such as this. So one of the things you can do to get the overall picture black and white is a simple trick and you just go to image adjustments select hue saturation and we can actually lower the saturation completely and then you notice the whole picture is black and white now including the bus now I'm going to cancel that out and I'm also going to go to image adjustment and then actually select black and white this is another feature you have in Photoshop where you can turn the whole picture black and white and not only that you have extra options here now if you notice when I'm selecting the different options for black and white on the whole picture the bus is actually turning black so it's another cool thing you can do now I'm gonna cancel that out now let's say if we want to add some color to the bus we can go to layer we can go to image adjustments and then select color balance over here you have the color balance options and you can see there's a cyan to red, magenta to green, yellow to blue. And also you have midtones, highlights, and shadows. You notice the whole picture gets adjusted. And if we select over here with the magenta, same thing. So in doing this, you can change the color of the complete picture. But what we want to do is actually just change the color of the bus. So let me cancel that out. Then I'm going to go to image, adjustments, and then select selective color. And now over here you see you have options for the different colors. Start off with the reds. You have yellows, greens, cyans, blues, magentas, whites, neutrals, and blacks. So we're gonna keep it at red because the bus is red. And even if I lessen the magenta, you're seeing the bus turn to orange, which is pretty cool. And select okay. So I like the color of that. So if you zoom in here, you notice that the bus color was changed. The reason why I would recommend doing it like this is because rather than create a path, which you can also do, you can go to window, select paths, and in this situation, you can create yourselves a new path, select the pen tool, and then start drawing around the bus, and then only select that bus, and then bring it over here for a selection, and you can start changing the color. But again, for this, it's the perfect solution just to address the color itself. So again, you would go to image, adjustment, and then select selective color. You can even lower the magenta even more and you get a yellow color and we can increase the yellow if we want. We can lessen the yellow so we can tone that down. Command Z. We can also add some black to darken it. So there's a lot of different techniques that you can use with changing color. Now again with this photograph, the original photograph had the bus as red. Well what if we want to have a blue sky? You know maybe you want to have blue sky in the background. One option I see here is if we take the magic wand tool, it seems to be a pretty quick solution because look at here in the background. It actually does give you a pretty good idea around Big Ben over here. I'm pressing shift and select. So what's happening here is I'm trying to get the background. But one thing I do notice here when I try to do this with the magic wand tool is that it's selecting this too in Big Ben. So what I'm going to do is actually take the background itself, Command D, and I'm going to create a path. This is going to take a bit of effort to do, but it's going to be worth it if we want to change the color of the sky. First thing we're going to do here is create ourselves a path, and I'm going to select the pen tool, and then start creating a path for the background.
Now that was an incredible path that I had to create for the background. One of the things that I didn't really notice, and I'm laughing about this because there's so much detail with the Big Ben clock, and one of the things that was really tricky about this was that you had to go around each point of the clock, which I would call a rough path. In this situation for the tutorial, I really tried to do this as quick as I could, and those are a lot of points. I wouldn't even bother counting how many points I created. We could have created even more for this background. If you notice over here, there's a street light. I removed it. I don't think it was an important element in the picture, so we can remove that. Command E and combine those layers. And now we can get to actually adding color. I'm going to take this path and select the path. And then what we can do over here is create a new layer. And then I'm going to use the airbrush and I have a color of blue. And that's going to be our background. Now right away this doesn't look very realistic. So I'm going to press Command D. And I'm actually going to start lowering the opacity on the background. And you can also lower the fill if you want to. That way it just starts blending in with the background. You can even see some elements of clouds. Very subtle trace of clouds in the sky. So from afar this doesn't look too bad and if you zoom in on the clock, it's a pretty good silhouette. Again, I consider this a rough silhouette. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you guys have any comments, post your comments down below. And of course if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out.